Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I got a gripe today, guys. I got a gripe today that I, I just, that kind of uh, opened up my wound again. Uh, when somebody, like a lot of viewers say, when I did my multi strings, they were asking me, why isn't Wilson Sensation in one of your top strings? This Wilson Sensation, Wilson Sensation 16, right? Now, my history with Wilson Sensation, um, it's kind of sketchy, okay? Now, when I first started stringing, uh, man, it's been a long time, but Wilson, when first Wilson Sensation first came out, I was around, right? And we strung a lot of it. It was the number one selling string at one point. And we were selling a boatload of it. You know, going through string, you know, reels of strings, going through sets of them. Every racket we did was Wilson Sensation. All right. And then 15 years ago came along. And for some reason, almost every racket I strung with Wilson Sensation broke and I'm like I, it can't be me I've been stringing for a long time and this has never happened but the the customers kept coming back and it would break like this it would break around the grommet the head of the grommet so I mean I'd be like okay well something's wrong with the grommet maybe we have to change the 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 head guard okay so my you know my first instinct is okay that's weird maybe something happened or the guy you know picked up a pebble or something like that and whacked it or it got scrubbed like this on the ground or you know try to use it as something to lift themselves up right uh but it didn't happen just once it happened for like a whole year like one whole year, like time after time, day after day, different people, the strings would break just like that, right? I was beginning to doubt myself, like what the heck's going on? Am I doing something to cause this, right? So I would restring it with, of course, sensation again, right? And the same thing would happen, right? So... The next time I strung, I said, well, uh, let me just change it to something else, all right? Because I, at, in the beginning there, I was changing sensations like three times over, and it would just keep happening. And I'd be like, am I, am I doing something wrong, all right? So finally, the, when I changed them to something else, that was it. Right, when I do Gamma TNT 16, it was fine. Never saw them for a while, right? And it broke in the middle like normal, okay? So I went back to Wilson and I said, hey, is anybody else, you know, complaining about breakage, like premature breakage? Like sometimes people would go out and within an hour come right back to me and say, this is broken, right? Oh no it's an isolated incident maybe it's just it's just you or that string i'll replace that for you you know so so in the beginning they would maybe give me one set of string back um or even or actually way in the beginning they said oh no you know pretty much saying yeah you screwed up okay and so the more that this happened the more i went back to them and was like this can't be me this really can't be me so I called um, other retailers and I was like, are you getting the same problem? And they said they thought it was them too, like that they were screwing it up somehow, right? So I, I kept pressing Wilson and I said, this can't be right. This really can't be right. And apparently other retailers started doing the same thing saying this can't be right, right? So. They went back to the product guy and said, um, you know, I'm getting these, these, this breakage, right? 
So their solution was they started putting codes on the back of these things, like right there. Like this tells him what batch it came from, where it came from, um, when it was made, I guess, in the system, right? So every time it broke, every time it broke, right? And I'm wasting time, wasting string, you know, after a year now of redoing hundreds of thou hundreds or thousand rackets over and over again with the damn string, right? So they all they want is, oh, the code and we'll send you new ones. Okay, well, the ones that they sent me with the new code broke too. So I told them that code. So it was just a vicious cycle of just, you know, finally, I just said, screw it. No more sensation. All right. It, it, it's not working out for me. All right. Even when the customer insisted on using sensation, I warned them, if that breaks on you, that ain't my fault. Because I warned you. Because Wilson is making a shoddy product right now. Okay. So what I figured out was Wilson changed production plants, right? My guess is they also changed the formula of the string. It made it more brittle somehow. So if you tagged one off of the top here, like if you, if the ball hit right here, right? And it pinched the string that it would just break like one hit done too brittle right now so the the sensation one wasn't that noticeable to feel like when i felt the string it wasn't that like i couldn't tell the difference too much like when i touched the string like that um but the same thing was also happening to nxt like nxt was doing the same thing uh, it would break just like that, right? But this time, I I was like, this feels different. This NXT feels different than last year's TN NXT. The NXT from old felt gummier. It felt gummier, um, maybe not stickier, but kind of stretchier, rubberier. You know, kind of had a little... I don't know, stretch to it. I don't know if I can, I don't know how to describe it, but the newer stuff felt more like just synthetic, you know, just like a synthetic, like a regular synthetic without much stretch. Um, you, if you strung NXT before, you know what I mean in the old way, like 15 plus years ago, where it was, where it felt different in that old string felt, um, I don't want to say, yeah, it felt better. It lasted longer. I remember people were saying, wow, this stuff is good and it lasts long, right? Now, with this new stuff, it didn't last as long. And it didn't feel as good. So, I don't know what, did they change the formula on the string to make it break faster? Now, I can't prove that, right? But... You know, that's why I haven't been a fan of these two strings is, you know, they wasted a year, probably two years of my life trying to figure out if I, if I jacked all these strings up or um, if they jacked it up, right? You know, finally they semi admitted it. Yeah, we did yeah, something, you know, but they never really said, yeah, we screwed up and we're sorry. Okay. I mean, the, the, the best they did was send me some string, you know, to replace all the, the jacked up string. So if you guys have ever, you know, seen that happen to your strings and they were Sensation or NXT, I mean, I still saw those floating around um, even five, six years ago. They might still be in people's like closets or basements still to today and they're going to break on you. If best case scenario, you can put these on a cross and it won't break on you there. On a main, I guarantee it'll break on you and it will break fast on you. Okay. Has that ever happened to you with Wilson Sensation or NXT?
Do you know what I'm talking about? Let me know. All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.